People put more effort into making themselves look rich than into being rich. Becoming rich without being born into a rich family is not easy. To pull oneself from the bootstrap and go against societal norms is something an exceptional person can do. The CEO of Kickstarter, Everett Taylor, shares his story from a broke guy to a self-made millionaire. The decision to change. Like many people, Everett Taylor pretended things were good, but one day he decided not anymore. That's the day his life turned around. When reality hits hard, you start working in every possible direction to achieve success in your head. Taylor did the same thing. He started looking into every opportunity that could make him some money. When you are told to embrace your life, it doesn't mean accepting your fate as it is. It is more about, okay, this is my life right now, and I need to change it. Adaptation and evolution. He never liked begging people for money. Instead, he looked at his surroundings and observed what people were doing to make money. Learning from the surroundings is one of an entrepreneur's most important qualities. So, he went to an Amarco down the street and worked there. He used to wash windshields to save money to be in a motel for the night. Those motels weren't the best, but it was more about hustle. Looking at how others hustle and how he can do it better. He tried lots of things to pull himself from bootstrap. The man has done everything from washing windshields to playing the drums on buckets. But, his biggest quality is adaption. He observed and learned from his surroundings. He adapted to his surroundings and evolved. Getting out of comfort zone. Lots of people hate change. They fear the slight change in their comfort zone. It is impossible to achieve something when you are lying on your couch binge watching something. Get out of your comfort zone and travel. This way, you can understand people's problems and come up with a solution. You won't be able to come up with great ideas if you aren't met with real challenges, and you will not face any real challenges if you hang out with the same group of people since middle school. We create a group of people with whom we are comfortable sharing our feelings. This can be a good thing but, too much comfort can cause more harm than good. So, in simple words, travel and face challenges. The power of the internet. What if you have no resources to afford travel? Well, you have the internet. Learn about different cultures, problems, and people. The internet is one of the greatest inventions. If you have a computer and know what to do, you will find a way to reach out to people and find necessary resources, and all that is left to do is learn. You have to show people that you can do something different. You are born to achieve something. This will inspire millions of people that they can do something. You can learn anything from the internet from the best people in that industry. You can see free lectures from universities like Harvard and Stanford on the internet. You can learn to code and be a developer, all with the help of resources available on the internet. Having everything taken away from you, Taylor has seen the worst of the worst days. Being homeless is different from having everything taken away from you. He was homeless and was living in his car, but Taylor tried to uphold the appearance of everything being okay. But the reality was different, and he realized it when everything was taken away from him. His clothes, shoes, and all the materialistic things he used to fake it until he figured it out, are gone. Even his car wasn't spared. The rain and snow started to enter his car. As a result, the car started to stink, and so did he. Finally, he realized how bad things were, and he saw the truth that he couldn't pretend things were okay anymore. For any other person, this would be the dead end of their life, but Taylor believes in trying again. The quote, dust yourself off and try again, keeps him motivated. Deaf frog strategy. Two frogs were trying to get out of a pit. All the other frogs at the top started saying it was impossible to get out of that pit because it was deep. Finally, one frog stopped trying, but the other frog tried again, and it got out of the pit. Do you know why? Because the frog was deaf and couldn't hear what others were saying. Use this strategy and be deaf to the world that is constantly telling you to turn down opportunities because you aren't capable or worthy. Every successful idea was once laughed at, but this didn't stop great people from turning them into reality. All the negative comments from people made him more hungry to be successful. The voice in his head kept telling him to do great things. Never take no for an answer. You should learn this quality from Taylor if you want to be successful. Throughout his journey, he never took no for an answer. He never accepted failure because he knew he deserved to win. But, his heart told him not to give up. 
No matter how bad the conditions are, you'll see a rose growing from the concrete, and he knew he was that rose. He knew he was built for tough conditions and kept trying. He grew concrete, and now, he is helping to grow more roses. We'll make it happen. If you decide what you want to do, the internet will help you gather resources. With resources at their fingertips, why do so many people still fail? The problem is the lack of will to make it happen. No matter how many resources are available, no force in this world can move you if you aren't willing to work. You should have the hunger to succeed. It is not an external factor, but your brain should remind you that you are here to do something big. A cool car might motivate you to work hard for a few days, but a clear vision will make hard work your habit. While growing up, Taylor didn't have examples of cool cars motivating him. With social media, you can log into Instagram and check what others are doing. Successful people buy cars and houses at a young age and spend their time and energy partying. Your brain will say that you should have it because they have it too. But, we fail to notice the work behind the screen to achieve this success. He started his first marketing job when he was 14 years old. After that, he hustled for 10 plus years as an entrepreneur, and it wasn't until the last few months he started getting recognition for his work. Success may take time but it's worth it. So, the bottom line is people don't know what it takes. Every overnight success has years of hard work and dedication behind it. Just because you started a business today doesn't mean you'll be a millionaire tomorrow. That's not how the world works. This is a marathon. Life is a marathon and not a sprint. You can't figure out what you like in a day or two. You have to keep running until you find your passion. The fun part is, trying a bunch of stuff. First, make a list of all the things you are interested in. Then, try to do a few of those. Sometimes, you may like doing something just because it looks cool, but it might be the most boring and demanding job. So, make a list of things and try to work on them. This will help you weed out the options you aren't interested in. Make a list of these top 5 things and think about how you can do something you are passionate about and get enough money just to get by. Then, try to scale it in the future. Your biggest obstacle. Sometimes the biggest obstacle on your road to success is you. Being able to identify mental health, anxiety, depression, and other things and say that we want to make a change is the way to humble ourselves to want to make that change. But, unfortunately, this is one of the biggest barriers in front of you. Everybody is in a rush to become successful. People want results overnight but aren't ready to put that much effort into it. They aren't ready to take a step back and learn. Taylor, as an entrepreneur, knew that success would take time. He wasn't afraid to go through the learning curve and eventually became successful. There are millions of stories like these but, the bottom line is to show up daily and make a difference. We hope this video motivated you.